Hey everyone, it's Dr. Tracy with Global Liberty and the Caribbean Cleanse, and I had a whole video planned for you today, but I have, um, I just recently heard of some sad news that a really dear friend, mentor, teacher, sister of mine has passed, and if you live on Maui, you probably know by now that midwife Tina has has left us in this physical form and I learned so much from her you know that the video that I had planned today was about choosing to care for ourselves first so that we can better care for others um, over the weekend I was in Kingston Jamaica and I had a bunch of chiropractic adjustments lined up for people yet there is a big devastating fire happening in a dump so lots of carcinogenic toxic fumes in the air and I was humming and hawing whether to stay to serve the people who I had promised I would serve or to leave to protect myself. And when it came down to um, a couple days in the smoke, I thought, you know what, I have a choice. I, I am choosing to leave to get out of the smoke, not only for my lungs, but for my thyroid health, which does not respond well to environmental toxins. And when I heard of Tina's passing, Gosh, I thought of how this woman gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. She has nine of her own children, all born at home, and she helped bring in thousands and thousands of, of babies over the last 40 plus years. And what a gift, what a gift to humanity to be able to serve at that level. Because um, for those of you who have given birth and been pregnant, you know it's a, it's a journey, it's a process, it's timed in its own way. And... So anyhow, my, my whole video that I planned was about taking care of ourselves first, yet I was reminded of how Miss Tina just really consistently cared for and gave to others, just selflessly, out of the act of love and serving. And um, yeah, so it has me thinking on so many different levels, but tune in with your life. Check in and see if you're in balance and you're giving and you're serving. And if you feel that you are depleted in an area of your health and your well-being and your manifestations and your um, clarity, perhaps it is time to step forth and give to yourself first. And that could be anything. It might be a walk in nature or it might be a massage. It might be writing in your journal, whatever it looks like for you, just define it and do it because um, all those little acts of service that we give ourselves add up and self-care is really important. And that, of course, is brings me right back to the meaning of global liberty, which is loving others in the ways in which we love ourselves. And the more of us that do this on a regular basis, the more the world shines. Okay, much love, big hug. Enjoy your week.